Hi all and a very warm welcome back to my channel. So if you are new here, my name is Beth, I go by the username Be More Creative, and this channel is mainly about cross stitching. We do enter into a couple of different areas, but today we are focusing on cross stitching and I'm going to be doing a floss tube extra for an Etsy shout out. So one thing I have been trying to do more is support local businesses but also support small businesses. So this is the first one in the series. I'm hoping to do these once a month and I will be supporting small businesses relating to textiles. So this could be um, threads, it could be fabric and so on. So I'm going to be featuring one of these a month and we're just going to explore new shops. So um, first things first, thank you so much for clicking onto this channel and we're going to jump straight in. So this is going to be a little bit different to my normal videos. Hopefully it's going to be a little bit shorter. I know my videos are quite long. There's a mixed opinion about whether people like long or short videos. But in this one today, we're going to be featuring the shop Eileeny Designs. And I do apologise if I am saying this wrong. It's very difficult for me to um, get pronunciations right of some of these different designers so I will list it down on the um, description box below you'll find all of the details and the names will flash up on the screen as well. So this is a shop which is owned by a lady called Ligia and I do apologise if I'm saying this wrong but she is based in the UK and she sells a variety of different items. So we're going to have a quick look at her Etsy shop. So what I'm going to do is you guys will be seeing the video and I will be doing a small voiceover just so we can have a look at the amazing products she designs. She has quite a few different um, items in her shop. So you'll see featured is hand dyed threads. Now these are the ones that I have tried personally. I absolutely love these. These are six stranded cotton dyed threads and there is a variety of different colours. Now because this is a small business you'll notice some of these are low in stock but don't worry they do seem to come back on a regular basis. I've been keeping my eye out and there are different colours than were here a couple of weeks ago when I first placed my order so don't you worry I will be placing another order to make sure I get these gorgeous threads in my stash. There is a selection of hand dyed fabrics now at the moment on the website there is only one type of even weave listed. Um, but previously there were some aiders and even weaves. There's hand painted ties, gorgeous jewellery, a variety of different textile pieces there for the jewellery. There's handmade bags and cosmetic bags. Now the cosmetic bags I think are absolutely gorgeous, as are the other bags, but a cosmetic bag could quite easily make a project bag, which is really nice. I love the knitted scarves, all the different textures that are in there, and it is definitely a present that someone would really love. So that is the different items that Leisure has on her shop. Um, she does have a website as well. All information will be listed down below. Now I purchased all of the items here today myself. I wanted to give a shout out to this small shop that I discovered because I was looking for embroidery threads that are hand dyed in the UK because I want to start supporting smaller businesses. Now this wouldn't be a floss tube extra without a free chart, so I have designed a pattern. Um, I have designed it featuring the products that I purchased, which was the threads. So this is um, a walk in the park. Now I have used a variety of different threads for this. All of the threads except for the black, which is a DMC, the rest of them I bought from Eileeny Designs. Um, they are absolutely stunning. I saw these and it made me think of a vintage sampler, so an aged look, which is what I went for. So in this design, there are three different types of stitches. You have your normal full crosses. You have your tent stitch for the grass because I wanted to add the color and the texture but not have it full coverage. I wanted the focus to be on the um, the tree, the bench, the birds, and there are two bunny rabbits that blend in down there. So you've got tent, you've got tent stitches even, and then you have your Smyrna crosses. So I wanted to add a variety of different textures, which when I saw these threads, they are so nice to stitch with. Um, I did find when I was first using them that 
they did tangle ever so slightly but they were so easy to untangle that that wasn't a problem and I think that was more user error I wasn't using wasn't used to stitching um, with the threads in particular and as soon as I worked out what I was doing wrong I made sure that I kept my needle quite straight so I wasn't twisting the um, threads up which is a habit that I personally do have and after that they stitched up really nicely so you can see the various different colours on here. I really wanted to go with something that was aged, which is why the threads that I used for the bunny rabbits do blend in a little bit. You can see them um, quite clearly and you can see it better in person. They do stand out. So I did not backstitch any of my bunny rabbits, but I wanted them to blend in, which is why I did the tent stitch all the way around them because that was my sampler threads. So when I saw these colours, I really thought vintage sampler and also they just made me feel so warm and happy. So I picked to do a outside walk in the park scene. I loved the idea of a willow tree kind of hanging over and then you've got your nice little bench to sit on and your two birds using two of the greyish colours. You've got a cream and a grey up there. So just quickly... Um, the threads that I used are all listed in my chart so I have a three page um, chart so the first page you have obviously your photo some information about um, the uh, the Etsy store Eileen e Designs and Nija Brook some information about myself but remember all of my charts are a stitch from stash so you have um, the list of threads here so I have just listed the threads that I used, so the um, Eileen E Designs cotton embroidery threads, but there is a DMC colour palette. Now obviously I can't give you an exact colour range because these are hand dyed threads and they do vary. And then of course as always you have your chart which I've done colour and symbols um, which hopefully you will enjoy. So that is the three chart that I have done to help support Eileen E Designs. So the one thing that I do ask is when you download this chart, obviously subscribe to my channel. You will only um, find I do apologise about that. I am on my work break and the work radio was going off, so I had to quickly answer that. So as I was saying, I... In order to support these businesses, now obviously there are multiple ways of doing this. Um, you can buy their threads, which would be absolutely amazing if you bought the um, products from them directly. But I can understand not everyone can afford to buy new things at the moment. So it is more than welcome to stitch from stash. But the one thing that I do ask when you download the chart, I ask you to do two things. One is make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel to help support me and encourage me to keep continuing this. And the other thing is I would like you to go over to her Etsy page. Now the Etsy page will be listed um, down below as well. And favourite her shop. By favouriting the shop you are helping to boost that um, favourites in Etsy which means more and more people see it when it is recommended. So if you would like to get your hands on this free chart it is completely free. There are no um, costings available it is listed down below so you will have as I said you will have the information in it and then the chart which I was told last time I did a free chart that the chart was a little bit small and difficult to read so I have got the chart on a full size um, A4 now so hopefully that will be a little bit easier I am still trying to work on doing black and white and making the black and white clear so at the moment this is just colour with symbols so you can print it in black and white if you want you have got the symbols there so you can read them but my black and white chart for some reason is not coming up clear enough and when I'm printing it's not easy to read so this is what I have so as I said, Eileen e Designs has a variety of different items. I for one will be going back on and purchasing some more of her threads, it's in particular the blue and green range. So a couple of things I found when I was first purchasing from them is just to know about the shipping costs. Now I first started adding products into my basket and the way that she has her Etsy set up is there isn't a set rate of shipping. It will go up as you add items in. 
However, please do not worry about this because on both times of purchasing, if the shipping cost was higher and I paid more in shipping, I was refunded the shipping. So that is something I completely understand. I have sent things out before and you just don't know how much the shipping is going to be. So she has done it to cover herself in the shipping cost where there is shipping attached to every item. However, you do get refunded if the shipping is more than like the shipping cost, that's the shipping cost plus the packaging costs um, are less than what you paid in shipping, you will get refunded. But I just wanted to show you how gorgeous these threads are. So these are the ones, the threads that I have used um, in the chart. So when they arrive, they come very nicely packaged. They do come in a plastic wrapper, but it's a plastic wrapper for four or five threads. Or if you order more, you get them in a bigger bag. So there isn't that much plastic. It's not something that I was overly concerned about, especially because you can reuse these bags. They're quite good quality, so they're able to reuse. All of hers come with a card that has been printed. Sorry, I'm trying to do this one-handed. The writing on there is really easy to read. So it just says, I need designs, hand dyed floss, and there is 10 meters per skein, which is slightly more, I believe, than DMC. I wanna say DMC is only eight, but I will double check that. You then have a number. Now there are a whole collection of these threads and in her photos on Etsy, you will see you have the picture of the thread that you are purchasing and then if you press the arrow button it will show you that thread against others in that colour range so you can really tell what kind of colour it is going to be. All of the threads that I have are very kind of vintagey, very light, um, they are absolutely stunning. Now that doesn't mean that she doesn't have darker threads. I, when I went on there was about 30 different threads on there and when I contacted her and said would she have more colours available she said she does but what she was in the process of was she just dyed them and she needed to cut them into lengths, package them up and add them to her shop which does take a lot of time but she managed within a week to add I think there's probably about 20 more colours than when I first went on and purchased which I think is really good there is a nice colour range. So. I have kept mine on the cards and it says hand dyed floss washing not recommended which is the same with any hand dyed threads. So I didn't have any problem with the threads themselves, no dye came off on my fabric which I have had before, there was no issue with that. However I have not washed my items but I never wash anything that's been hand dyed. I use a lot of hand dyed threads and hand dyed fabric you're not going to wash it, there is a risk of um, the colour running. So I would advise against following it and following the instructions that you get given. So these colours are absolutely stunning. So as I said, these are the colours that I used once again in my chart. And my photo frame is a 7x8. So with the, um, I don't know what it's called, the little cardboard piece inside, my is slightly smaller and I think it's a 7x5 or a 6x5 but it fits absolutely perfectly as I said all information will be listed down in the description box below so this once again is the threads in action this is the design I created if you would like to get your hands on the chart please just have a look down in the description box below favorite um sorry favorite Eileen E designs and subscribe to my channel so I am, because I want to give someone the opportunity to try this, I am doing a giveaway, um, which is products I have. Right guys, so I have a giveaway for you all today. I wanted to support Eileen e Designs and allow someone else to try and try, try their fabric and try their thread. So what I did was I purchased with my own money. This did come separate. Um, I just put the threads inside so that way you, everything can fit in one package. But you have got a gorgeous kind of mustardy yellow 16 count Ada fabric. I do believe it's 16 count. Um, plus four of the different threads. Now these so four threads this giveaway, are... you must be 18 or over. I will send this item anywhere in the world. The giveaway will close on the 
28th, so that's Friday the 28th, so that is only a couple of days away. I just wanted to support Eileen-y Designs and I want to announce the giveaway in my next floss tube which will be up on the 30th. So, there we go, that is um, the giveaway items. So just use the company's name, eileen -y Designs, I will list it on the screen and it will also be listed down below. That is the word I will be searching in order to um, give the winner. So to enter, as I said, follow the rules. You must use the word eileen -y Designs and in your comment, I want you to go over to their Etsy shop, favorite their Etsy page, and let me know what are your favorite items from there. If it's a Fred, let me know what color range or what color in particular you really like. Um, so that is the giveaway. So I am going to be doing a colour conversion on one of the charts that I've shown on my channel before. I have really loved the Seeking Refuge by the Scarlet House. This chart means an awful lot to me. It is one of those ones that is going to stay with me. The quote on here is just absolutely stunning. So. Um, as I said, the Scarlet House Seeking Refuge. The quote on here, when the world seems to be out of control, I find a way to nurture my soul, seeking refuge with needle and thread, the angst and anxiety no longer I dread. So I thought this chart was so meaningful and especially with the whole pandemic and everything that's happened. So I am going to be stitching this, but doing a colour conversion and using the eileen -y Designs threads. So you will see this probably over the summer, I will start working on this. I'm currently working on the colour conversion now, but it is definitely going to be a lot more toned down than what you see in this picture. I, I have seen this stitched and it is absolutely gorgeous, but I want it to be truer to myself and I do prefer the vintage colours. So that is the reason that I ended up buying these in particular, because I bought some threads to start this. Absolutely love the threads and will be stitching with these more often. So if you would like to get your hands on the free chart, which is here, this chart can very easily be modified. I've left space in here if you wanted to put letters on there, you could do in the background in blue and turn it into more of a sampler. I just wanted a nice little scene um, that I could put in the frame and it might even go into the back of a shadow frame eventually. But at the moment I've just got this in a seven by eight photo frame um, and I really love how it looks. So to get your hands on the free chart, it will be listed down below. Just make sure you subscribe to my channel and also go over to Etsy and favorite eileen -y Designs to support them. So if you have any ideas um, of what I should, what small business so I should- As I said, I would like to support small Etsy businesses. So if you could leave down in the comment section below, if you have your own Etsy business, which relates to cross stitching or textile, so it could be fabric, it could be thread, um, things like that, then please let me know down below. Or if you know of anywhere that is a small business, just give them a shout out down below and we will definitely check them out and who knows they may be featured in my next month series. So thank you so much for watching, I really hope you support eileen -y Designs by going over and checking out Leija's Etsy shop. Also make sure if you would like to enter the giveaway, as I said before, 18 or over, I will send it anywhere in the world. Use the word eileen -y Designs in your comments and let us know what is your favourite item. Make sure you favourite their Etsy shop and make sure you're subscribed to my channel as well. So once again, thank you so much. I really hope you enjoyed this video and shout out. I will see you on Sunday for a normal floss tube. Thank you so much for watching. Happy stitching guys. Bye.